Hey everybody, and welcome to Let's Play Anodyne 2, Return to Dust. Um, I'm going into this almost entirely blind. I've seen a tiny little bit of gameplay from the very early game, but that was quite a while ago when the game just came out sometime last year. Not sure exactly when. Um, yeah, uh, all I can say from that little bit of gameplay that I have seen is that uh, if you're familiar with the first game, uh, which I have played, uh, that was pretty much a Zelda-like, I would say. Uh, so a top-down 2D uh, retro-style action-adventure. Yeah, very much like a uh, polished-up version of, um, of A Link to the Past. No, not Link to the Past. Link's Awakening. It, it was more akin to the, uh, to the Game Boy 1. But with some very unique ideas and puzzles. Uh, so just a very, very nice little indie game overall. And this is uh, the sequel. However, well, from what I have seen, it looks to be entirely different. I mean, as you can already tell, it's not a 2D game. Because what we're seeing here is low res, but it is definitely 3D. So, yeah, without further ado, I guess I'll just jump into it. Peruse the manual. Huh? Oh. Okay, that... I don't know how that came across in recording, but that actually literally opens up the manual file. So let's not do that, I guess. It's not the walkthrough. I, I mean, I hope I don't need that. Settings. Full screen on, yes. Default scaling. I mean, I'm gonna keep that at default for now. Volume, uh, it still sounds a little bit loud. Even though I already toned it down a bit. Always a bit worried about... Uh, game audio overpowering my recording. Language English, uh, of course. Show text immediately, rather than uh, a few characters at a time. Uh, we'll see how slow it seems. I guess we can safely keep all the graphical settings at maximum here. Screen shake on. Uh, we'll see. I, that's something I might deactivate at some point. Double health. Invincibility. Okay. Built-in cheats. I don't know how tough this game is going to be. Really, I've, I've almost no idea how this is going to play at all. But I guess for now I'm going to leave everything as is. Oops. Uh, it should be fine. Yeah, uh, let's just jump into the game and... Uh... Oops. New game. Oh, okay. Y yes. That's a... That's a structured a little bit confusingly, but that's fine. A warm breeze fills the air. A paper floats by and comes to rest on the ground. It is a letter. It reads, Summer 2019. Dear player, thank you for playing Anodyne 2, Return to Dust. It is somewhat of a spiritual successor. It has narrative and thematic ties to the first Anodyne, but features a completely new world and characters. That is to say, the two games can be enjoyed in any order. At times, the world of Anodyne 2 may be a strange or confusing place, but it is... Uh, at its heart is a story, but at its heart, it's a story of human struggles and relationships. Now, come on, let's go on a curious and wonderful journey together. Melos Hantani and Marina Kitaka. That's. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen a game open with. With a letter from the developers to the player. That's kind of neat, though. Maybe kind of well, not necessary, but. Maybe a, maybe a good idea, considering how extremely different this this sequel is. And if anyone you know played the first game and expected something similar from the sequel, um, they would have been at the very least confused, if not maybe a little bit upset. Uh, obviously, I'm I don't mind either way. As uh, I would wouldn't have minded a second game in the very much in the same style as Anodyne 1, but I don't mind something something else entirely, as long as it's good. Anyway, a figure with stringed instrument. Some say that life is a circle. Madness. All things grow from a point, a center. Everything to come was already here. It melts out from a tiny capsule, like a sponge in bloom. The beauty is to witness the true shape of the primordial point, its fractals unfurled to their limits, the atomic, indivisible tips of its tentacles. Time, after all, is a looking glass. An illusion. 
and yet the truest way to see ourself. Deep. Figure with beautiful voice. Uh, sorry that I can't really emulate that. Stunning words as always, friend, but let's not get too ahead of ourselves. The one we are here to meet is merely a baby, not yet hatched. We must lead her gently into the bright light of the world. Oh look, our precious Nova seems to be stirring. The following are the first words that Nova will ever hear. In time, the contents of the speech will fade into obscurity, but she will never forget first hearing this voice. Ah yes, this voice, so fragrant, so beautiful, that Nova felt like crying. Had she been blessed with tear ducts, perhaps she would have. You may have forgotten how hard it is when you first realize that you exist. Nova certainly felt that now, but when she heard this creature speak, she thought, perhaps it might be worth it. Nova, Nova, can you hear me? Take a deep breath, my darling, then open your eyes. So, assuming we are Nova? We're only now opening our eyes and somehow we perceive these two beings without eyes before that? From the darkness, an orange glow, and from the silence, the crashing of waves. Huh. And very PS1 or N64 era graphics. Strangely nostalgic, if you grew up in that era like I did. There she is. Still a little woozy, are you? Don't worry, it's natural to feel disoriented when you first gain consciousness. Child, your name is Nova, and you are an extraordinary creature with the unique ability to shrink to microscopic sizes. It will come in quite handy, as you'll see, as you'll soon see. My name is Palisade, and I'm here with C. Psalmist. C. Psalmist? Okay. Together, we will serve as your caretakers and your guides. Palisade, the shield. Okay. That sweet voice. Definitely lifts. <laughs> we'll fight for you. Okay. Seep Selmist, the musician. Dedicated songwriter. Awkward around kids. Kind of a nerd. Mummies? How beautifully bizarre. Caretakers and guides. <laughs> Why not both? Or all three, I guess. Would you like to say hello to Nova, Seep Selmist? Um, uh, greetings, young Nova. It is I, Seep Selmist. I'm speaking to you from outside of your egg. Egg? Uh, okay. Um, <clears throat> space, after all, is an illusion. It could be likened to a looking glass. A looking glass is a mirror, by the way. I used to think it was a telescope or a microscope. You know, uh, some kind of tube-shaped object. Thank you for that enlightening clarification, Seep Selmist. Now, Nova, as Seep Selmist mentioned, you are currently inside of your egg. In order to hatch and truly begin your life, you will ride the hatch line monorail that leaves from the top of the hill. I think I see that, yeah. Ah, but you can only leave it uh, you can only leave if you obtain the sacred Glandilock seed. For now, you may think of the Glandilock seed as your ticket to ride. First, speak to the three yoke figures. Each yoke will give you a special item that will prepare you to host a Glandilock seed. Then speak to the Chalaza tree at the highest point on the island. Go get him, Nova. Use the left stick to move around. Uh, well, can't move around right now. On keyboard press... Yeah, okay. With control, use the right stick and rear shoulder triggers to move the camera. Uh huh. There's A to jump. You can jump a second time while in midair. Awesome. Double jump right from the get-go. I like that. After jump, keep holding A to slow your fall. Wow. You change controls, graphic quality... Yep, mm hmm Sorry to tell you all that at once. If you forget anything, Check the, setting menu, the settings menu's controls section. The Elm and Shore. Wow. What an introduction to a game. I can definitely say that I've never experienced anything quite like this, or even really remotely close to this. And I love it. Whoops, that's not why. First, yeah, okay. Uh huh. Gotcha. Okay, yep, double jump and slow fall. Useful. And we can also shoot these balls of light. Which they forgot to mention. How far... Oh, well, not very far at all, as it turns out. 
Well, I guess that that's fair enough. Hey there, yoke figure. You're a weird one. The strange figure is silent. Is it alive, Nova wonders? Nonetheless, its gaze beckons her. Enter my round golden plate, it seems to say. You shall find a part of this complete breakfast. The yoke and Nova's fate begin to resonate. The presence of a new nanopoint is in the air. Spark, spark this being and reveal its nanopoint. Shrink forth, nano cleaner Nova. Uh, okay. Interact with the environment by firing off a spark. Press X to shoot a spark at the yoke. You can enter the nanopoint by shooting the spark repeatedly. Okay. Nanopoint. I think I'm getting an idea of how this is going to work out. We're, um, we're going to enter some kind of... So this is basically some kind of hub world. Maybe not the main hub world, but the intro hub. And uh, each of these figures is going to allow us access to, to some kind of sub world. Okay. Okay. Oh, wait. Huh. Well, would you look at that? This is more like the first game. Hi there. Yolk Wanda the Yolk Robe. Wowie, our very own cleanser, no, not cleanser, cleaner, has come to visit. Oh gosh, oh gosh. And I'm the first nano friend she'll see. Boy, howdy, can I keep it together and remember my lines? Yolk Wanda the Yolk Robe. Okay, I guess I'm not going <laughs> to read the name every single time. I hope she comes over here and presses Y to talk to me. Will she, though? Uh, <laughs> tune in next time to find out. No, never mind. Yolk Wanda. Hey there, Nova. You've shrunk inside the microscopic interior of the yolk of Yummy, the most important yolk of all of the day. Here you'll find provisions to keep your future Glendilox seed happy and healthy. Okay, anything else? Huh, I guess not. Oh, wait. I can read this, I think. <laughs> Hi, Rock. Welcome. Rocks are surprisingly diverse and come in a number of shapes and sizes. Though by divine fate, many of the rocks here look the same. Be sure to t be sure to talk to all of us. I I will. Is that? Oh, that's a save point. Yep. Yeah. Uh, yummy yolk rope. Nova will love our Centerberry Burst cereal because it contains trace amounts of 17 micronutrients in center recommended rations, and Glendilock Seed will love its uh, patented crunchy cool taste. What the heck? Okay. Oh, very strange. What is this? Can I... Oh. Oh. Okay. So, in here I can't shoot uh, sparks, but I can suck in objects, it looks like, and shoot them back out. Huh. I cannot jump, it looks like. Hmm. Can I suck in people? Whoops. Hey, wait, Nova. I'm a helpful yokrobe, not a deadly dust virus. Please, just talk to me. Okay. Sorry, man, I had to try. So there are gonna be deadly viruses, huh? Hmm. That's, uh, that's a bit too close to home right now, but... There are some colorful rock-like obstructions blocking your path. Try using your nano vacuum to suck stuff out of the way. Hold Y... Uh, not Y. Hold X to suck in objects. Press X to shoot them back out. Okay. Hi. Hmm. What if we had a glandilock seed of our very own? Eep, never mind me. We may talk a big game here in the Yoke of Yummy, but the development of delicious and nutritious crispy puffed comestibles is all we know. Okay. Whoops. Wait. So I can also push these things around? Oh. oh, okay. Interesting. Oh, these I can push. These ones I can push. Interesting. Sometimes rocks get in the way, but other times... Huh? Oh, they can be very helpful. Don't paint every rock with a broad brush, is all I'm saying. Unless you paint them really cool. <laughs> a lady at my church painted a rock so it looked like a tiger with little whiskers and everything. Pretty neat. A lady at your church. You are a talking rock, though. I... Sure. 
I'll just play along. Hey there. Congratulations, you are truly deserving of our greatest of our greatest A Glandilock food. Cartoon characters will suffer many fraught encounters due to the high quality of our Centerberry Burst cereal, but we can tell you we can tell you will be a good steward of our Glandilock seed. What? I I don't even I won't even pretend to understand anything. <laughs> I'm a latch box! My specialized latch is completely impervious to all forms of vacuum suction. Hmm, I just hope I don't run into anyone with hands. Hands are my latch's greatest weakness. Oh, okay. Nova found the Centerberry Burst Cereal, one of the three elements of nurturing. With it, a Glandilock seed will have all the carbs it needs to make a home in Nova's head. Let's pretend any of that made any sense, shall we? I don't think I have really truly glanced yet what this Glandilock seed thing is even supposed to be. The yolk of Yummy looks quizzically at Nova. You have found the treasures buried within me, but cereal left dry doth inflict pain upon the mouth chambers. It nods in the direction of a yolk further up the hill. Okay, so next up, milk, I guess, and then maybe, I don't know, a spoon would be helpful, I guess, potentially. Huh. Well. Hi there. The second yoke figure sways in the breeze with a profound sense of chill. Dude, it seems to say. Right in the milky waves. The yoke and Nova's fate begin to resonate. The presence of a new nanopoint is in the air. Spark, it, spark this being and reveal its nanopoint. Shrink forth, nano cleaner Nova. Okay. Let's do it. Let's get us some milk. Milk of Sippy. All right. Sippy Yogrum. Yo, Nova, welcome to the Yolk of Sippy. Some people say that a Glandilock seed ought to drink eight dewdrops of our homemade Sippy Yolk milk per cell cycle. But me here in the Sippy zone think you could chill with the match and just go with the flow. Uh, okay. Thanks for the save point. Not sure if save points really are entirely necessary here, but I guess we'll encounter enemies at some point. The Glandilock seed is like a direct line to the center, you dig? Just keep your mind open, you know, and the answers will find you. I sure hope they will, eventually. Oh, okay. Wanted dust virus, Mr. Spiky. He may sit there, he may just sit there, but this virus has been shouting some very rude comments <laughs> at our poor yolk robes. Try shooting a block at him. And be sure to suck up any dust he might leave behind. Okay. Let's try that. That was dust? Hmm. So I guess there is some kind of currency in this world. We have two of those things that look more like crystals than dust, but sure, whatever. Hmm, nothing like a little sippy yolk milk to make those glandilock tendrils grow deep and strong. Just ride that high, Nova. Ride that high. Okay, I'll try. These guys are a little bit ever so slightly more active <laughs> than their spiky cousins. Also, they don't always drop crystals. Wanted dust virus, mild-tempered slime. Don't be fooled by their adorable gooey exteriors. If left unchecked, these pesky ruffians can cause serious illness in the body of their host. Unlike Mr. Spiky, they are safe to vacuum up. Oh, right. Maybe I should have tried that, but we're done here for now. Nova, you made it to the yolk, the yolk milk, of course. You just relaxed and let it flow, am I right? Sure. Sippy yolk milk, one of the three elements of nurturing. With it, a Glenlock seed will have all government approved nutrients needed to spread far and wide inside Nova's head. Which doesn't sound like something we want to happen, but I guess we do. Well, let's keep going, I suppose. Wait, I want to talk to you one more time. The Yoke of Sippy nods its head at Nova affirmingly. Excellent, it seems to say. Have you chilled with Yoke of Cozy up the hill? No, not yet. I also wonder if there are any hidden secrets in here. Or around here, I should say.
Not seeing any for now. Also, this FOV is a little bit disorienting, but I guess it's part of the intended experience. It's not too bad either. Okay. Doesn't look particularly stable, but stable enough, I guess. Hi there. Next guy. Wasn't there supposed to be some kind of tree on the top of the hill? Because that's not a tree. What is this? Safe game. Oh, okay. You know what? We can probably uh, do the third little, well, challenge. Not much of a challenge, but, you know, get the third component, I guess. The final yoke figure uh, seems to gaze upon Nova with a warm yet analytical eye. Ah, hmm. Yes, yes, yes. It seems to say, a perfect host in, a perfect host in need of a perfect reguloid. The Yoke and Nova's Fitbit can resonate, blah, blah, blah. Yep. A reguloid, you see. You say, okay. Yoke of Cozy. Welcome to the Yoke of Cozy. Yes, yes. Are you feeling comfortable? Yes, yes. We have carefully trained these reguloids to adapt the local atmosphere to your body's precise par partialities. Partialities? Temperature, salinity, acidity, lugubrity. <laughs> lugubrity, the most important partiality of any body. Uh, yeah, and so forth. Right. Getting the feeling that you're making half of those up. But that's okay. Hmm, yes, yes, yes. A little cereal, a little yolk milk, yes. Such things are quite necessary. However, as the old saying goes, Glandilox seed cannot live on ingestion alone. Huh. I see. I think. Are you an enemy? I... No, you're not. Okay. Oh, that's a reguloid. Huh. Woof, woof. Translation. Temperature, 36 degrees Yokonite. <laughs> okay. So there are multiple paths for the first time, I think. I hope it's for the first time, because I sure didn't see any branching paths before. A chasm separates you and those darn dust viruses. You're too far too far away to suck them up, but perhaps there is another way to get rid of them. Hmm. Ouch, watch it. You're gonna chip my paint if you if you want me to open. Take out your aggression on the dust viruses instead. Sorry man, I didn't mean to to attack you. Okay, that worked. Doesn't seem like uh, crystals despawn ever, so that's good to know. More fur woo woo. Air humidity level 5%. Success rate for a fish trying to breathe. Oh. 5% success rate for a fish trying to breathe. That's surprisingly high for by air standards. Okay. I see. I don't think that box served any purpose. It's obviously, as we have seen, we cannot take objects through screen transitions. Would you not do that? Did I just get damaged? Oh, those things actually... I see. So we're sucking up the dust. That's the actual currency, as we were told. The red things that sometimes also drop are just health. Okay. Also, sucking up that yellow shooting dude did damage me, so I guess some enemies aren't can be sucked in, but aren't safe to be sucked in. Also, here we have to do this. Okay, those don't hurt us. We can suck enemies through walls, which is good to know. Ah, yes, yes, indeed. It is time for you to have reguloids of your very own. How beautiful to become a one, uh, to become a home. May your head always be a safe and warm resting place for the precious Glantilox seed. Yes, yes, yes. Hey there. Woof, 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 woofer. Golden summer light, dappled by oak, by oak leaves. The scent of freshly bruised crabgrass and dandelions. An, une an unexpected cool breeze drifts in from across the lake. A tawny rabbit sits up and sniffs before hopping into the bushes. Yep, that's... Sure. Guess their woofing language is quite efficient. Nova found a Reguloid, personal edition, another one of the three elements of nurturing. 
The Regaloid will adapt Nova's head into the perfect environment for a thriving Glandilox seed. Yay? Okay, well, I, we got what we need. The Yoke of Cozy passes its gaze over Noza once again. No, Noza? <laughs> over Nova, Nova once again. Ah, yes, yes, yes. All is in order here, it seems to say. Perhaps she's ready to meet with the ancient Chalaza. The Chalaza tree, right? Well, game was saved. Awesome. It's nice and quick. Secrets? No? No secrets? Oh, well. Also, we unfortunately cannot grab corners, it looks like. Oh, just barely cannot make this jump, really? Eh, lame. Oh, hi. Well, I mean, it certainly doesn't look like a tree, but I don't know what it looks like. I guess it's pretty much par for the course for this game. Chalaza the Eighth. Ah, Nova. Hmm. After all this time, we meet at last. Ah. Hmm. Nova! Uh, what are we talking about? Oh, right. I am the ancient Chalaza tree, keeper of the sacred knowledge of the Albumin Shore. From the day you washed up on our shores, I have chronicled your journey, and oh, and oh what a journey it has been. I mean, that day was today, as far as I'm aware, but okay. Reflect with me upon those sweet and daring stories that now drift upon the hazy river of the past. Do you remember the blustery, serial-obsessed yoke of yummy inhabitants? The late, the late-back denizens of the yoke of Seppi? How about those kind and conscientious caretakers of the yoke of Cozy? Yeah. Good memories. Good times. Ah, I have laughed. I have cried. I have prayed for wisdom to bless your decisions, your thunderous triumphs and your arduous struggles. I don't remember much struggling, but okay. Shall be etched into my branches for all eternity. And now, you have arrived here at the pinnacle of Mount Vitaline, Vit Vitaline, from from which one can survey the furthest reaches of this expansive land. Have you the three elements of nurturing? Ah, wonderful. Then my epoch of anticipation is complete. Nova, I grant to you the Glandilox seed. Oh, glorious day. Okay, there it is. And now, Nova, it is time. Already I can feel my power fading. The age of Albumen draws to a close. Quickly, Nova, lay yourself down upon the hatch line. And with the last of my energy, I will send you to the great beyond. Okay. Oh, didn't realize at first that she already laid down there. Wow, what an intro. Amazing. And here we are in the actual hub world. I should probably look for a save point. I don't... I mean, since there are save points to manually use, I... I'm not sure if the game will auto-save progress at points like this. Or... ever. Hmm. Okay, let's enter, I guess. Center Sanctuary. Pretty. In all its low res, low poly glory. Talk? To what? Oh, to Palisade. I thought we were interacting with whatever this is. Nova, you made it. I'll tell you all about that device soon, but for now, come over to me for a quick chat. Okay, so this is a device that we'll interact with at some point. Is there. Can we not just save the game? I guess we're in, we haven't reached the the main gameplay section yet, if there is such a thing. There you are, darling hatchling. I knew you could make it. Welcome to Alive. Okay. So just a way to welcome me to being alive, or...? <laughs> Nova, you are in the Center Sanctuary, the dwelling place of the Center. The Center is... Well, it's hard to explain for someone who's only just hatched, isn't it? The Center is the center. It created all of us, along with our world, the island of New Zealand. New... New Zealand? New the land? <laughs> New the land? I don't know. The center is like an artist, and we are its painting, a beautiful expression of its vision. 
I mean, I don't know, I guess I could see this as being a representation of the inside of someone's or something's brain. Hmm. Well, anyway. The center is everything. Or rather, the center simply is. Our lives are like shadows cast by the center's true form, which will one day become apparent. The center. It's the center. What else is there to say? Creator of New the Land. Uh, New the Land. I guess I'm going to call it New the Land. Pointer slash shadow puppeteer? Painter slash shadow puppeteer? Literally everything? Mommy? I don't know. Maybe? A figure beyond comprehension. Yeah. Let's... Let's settle for that. Hmm. Perhaps we are all the artists and... Uh, we are all the artists and art of New Zealand. We shape and are shaped by each other. By treating our neighbors with kindness, we can build each other up. Um, well, I don't know if I would go that far, Palisade. What good, what good we may accomplish flows directly from the rightness of the center. Regardless, we must focus. Nova, listen closely. I will now reveal to you your true purpose and the path ahead. You have been born into a war zone, Nova. Granted, it is not a contest of swords or guns, of armies or, f or f armies or infantry. We wage a war that is nearly invisible and yet wholly insidious. We face a deadly force that wrinkles the face of time as a lurking water beast ripples the surface of a lake, disrupting the clear reflection of our souls. We call it nanodust. Ooh. It starts small, a microscopic seed planted in some dark, moist corner of one's organs. Then the nanodust grows. It feeds upon the structure of our minds, magnifying our fears our wrath, our wrongful desires. Eventually, it blossoms to its full scale, completely obliterating the identity of its host. Symmetry, beautiful symmetry, is our birthright as creations of the center, and yet we lose ourselves in the dust. We begin to decay, to decompose, to crumble. Dust begets dust, and we forsake our true selves. Nova, perhaps your true purpose is now becoming apparent. You were given the abilities to shrink and to clean so that you might reverse the tide of dust that threatens to overwhelm us. You must travel far and wide, shrinking inside the inhabitants of New Zealand, those most consumed by the dust's contamination. You... Suddenly a tiny spark flies toward Nova's head. What's that? Palisade! Palisade card! Activate! Palisade creates a barrier using her shield, containing the spark in a glowing cube. A nano-intruder, attempting to infiltrate your body. Nova, I can contain it temporarily, but you must shrink to nanoscale and destroy it. Don't be afraid, sweetheart. I'll be right here. I know you can do it. Well, oh, okay. I guess we do that? Yep. Um, I really wonder if... I mean, I, I would like to end the first episode here. But I, I'm just not sure how the saving works. So I guess I'll keep going. This time we're not entering some someone's brain or consciousness. Some kind of virtual space. But still on a nano level. Let's let's just accept it. Rifting Poland. Okay. Oh, okay. Sucked up the dust. Hope we cannot interact with these things, whatever those are. I mean, it says saving here, so maybe I should make a break. I I also am very curious to see where this goes. So oh. Okay, interesting. Oh, that's... well... That didn't go so well. Yeah, I'll just keep going. This is probably not gonna be super long, right? Still kind of an introductory quest file. I'm not particularly good at this, am I? There we go. Oh, hey, don't be afraid. Dusty Yokrub. Nova, is that you? <coughs> how, how did how did I get here? I don't know. Am I gonna be okay? I'm so tired, Nova. I've never felt like this before. I'm scared. Nova, is it you? Oh. Oh, boss fight. Nano assassin. Nova will die, the center will crumble, dust will consume New Zealand. <coughs> okay. 
Oh, oh, missed. I, I hope there is plenty of ammo. Although, part of me actually wonders what will happen when you run out of, of boxes. Nice. Well, I guess we'll find. We'll not find out this time. <coughs> Nova will die. The center will crumble. Dust will consume New Zealand. Uh. Well, and that was that. Easy first boss. The nano cleaner. She exists, and she was born to dust, to clean, to rescue. May she protect all of us from harm. May the nano cleaner save New Zealand and its denizens from their fate. I'll try. <sighs> You're growing up so quickly. I didn't expect a challenge like this for quite some time, but I'm so proud of you. Sadly, there are those who would seek to destroy New Zealand. Though we are all created by the center, the nano dust can inflict a kind of madness. Now perhaps you can see the urgency of your mission. Nova, take the elevator behind you up to the city, and always remember that you can stand against the ever encroaching crawl of degradation. Okay. What is this, by the way? Hello. Oh. That's the lower dust drop, Nova. I'll show you how to use it soon, but first take the elevator outside. Okay. Talk. Nova presses the console and it lights up and whirs. Next stop, Center City Sen Center City Cenote? Cenote? Welcome to Center City Cenote. Cenote? Cenote? I don't know. Center City Cenote. A vibrant community built into the walls of this sacred geological depression. Directly above Center Sanctuary is the Dust Prism, which stores the nano dust you will collect. I actually already have collected some dust. Okay, You may use the dust drop console in Center Sanctuary to deposit dust. Once sealed within your dust... Once sealed within the dust prism, the nano dust may blossom to its full scale without harming New Zealand. Once enough dust is accumulated in the dust prism, it will be sent to the center to be recycled into energy. But alas, before you were born, the dust prism was damaged in a terrible storm and now it can only contain a small fraction of its full dust capacity. Because of this energy shortage, the dust dominion has advanced to the point where it is no longer safe to leave the city. You can see the storm still raging overhead. Can I? This is where you come in, Nova. The dust prism can be reinforced with the rare and powerful with rare and powerful cards that you can find while nano cleaning. Your first goal is to reinforce the prism with four cards and fill it with 100 cc nano dust. Then the center will be able to recycle the dust into energy and push back the storm, allowing you to leave Center City Cenote. Okay. I see. To sum it up, your mission is to search the city for people in need of cleaning, collect the dust and cards inside of them, then deposit those resources back in Center Sanctuary. Yep, I got that. Check your progress on the menu by pressing the menu button. You're going to do an amazing job, Nova. Well, again, I'm sure gonna try. And here's the save point. Alright, let's just take one quick look here at the menu. 19 dust right now, no cards that I'm aware of. Level 1 dust prism, 0 out of 100. Cards still next level 4, okay. Go find cards and dust to clear the frontier storm above the city. Gotcha. Um, cards, okay. I guess that gives us maybe a vague idea of how long this game is going to be, as soon as we've found a couple of them at least. Information. Oh, okay, that's just gives us that. We also have some sort of rough map, I guess. There don't seem to be particularly many icons on the map yet. There's some kind of berry or apple, an exclamation point, a fishbone, maybe? Some green sparkles. The elevator and ourselves. Okay, whoops. Inventory. Ah, Setterberry Burst Cereal. Yolk Milk. Regaloid personal edition. <laughs> Nano Vacuum Model A Pro 60. And the Glandilock Seed, of course. Oh. oh, and we have descriptions. Awesome. Glandilock Seed has grown tendrils deep into Nova's head, so that the center may directly communicate with and even channel its power to Nova at certain times. 
Okay, so that's what that's good for. The latest model of Nano Vacuum with a default canister capacity of 60 dust units. There are etchings on it saying state of the art and something about four easy monthly payments. Awesome. With this cereal, the Glanilox seed will have all the carbs it needs to make a home in Nova's head. With this, the Glanilox seed will have all center approved nutrients needed to spread far and wide inside Nova's head. And this regulite will adapt Nova's head into the perfect environment for a thriving Glanilox seed. Yes, okay. We heard that before. Settings, other. Return to entrance, 3D only. Okay. Interesting. Well, anyway. Save again, I guess. And I'll make a cut here and we'll continue exploring this very, very strange, but somewhat beautiful and definitely extremely intriguing land. Uh, the land, even. So, uh, I, well, I mean, I'm enjoying this greatly so far, and I'm really looking forward to what else this game has in store for us. Uh, I hope you're enjoying it too, or you enjoyed this first episode. If you did, please uh, hit the like button, leave me a comment, and I shall see you real soon. Bye-bye.